Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noctula if this is your first time and if it's not, welcome back. So in today's video, I have another colorful look. I hope you guys are really enjoying that I'm trying to experiment more with color and just push myself to be a bit more creative. So um, this is the eyeshadow that I did. I used yellow, which I never ever use, and I used the Colored Rain um, Vivid Pigments and Shadows palette again. And this look was inspired by Esther Graham. I think that's how you say her name. But um, I saw this on her YouTube, on her Instagram, and I was like, oh, this is cute. We're gonna try and make it again. So that's what I did. Um, it's fairly straightforward, but like you just have to keep packing on the color. That's that's the only advice I can give you. But let's just jump into this video. Please don't forget to like this video, comment what you would like to see from me, what you liked about this video, and don't forget to subscribe, obviously, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, I'm starting off very zoomed in again because I would like for you guys to see the detail on my eyes. Um, and I've already done my eyebrows with the e.l.f. brow pencil and um, primed my lids with the ColourPop concealer. So now I'm just going to dip into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going straight into this brown shade. I will um, put the name on the screen again. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. And I forgot to mention but I'm using this fluffy BH Cosmetics brush. Okay, now with a smaller brand branding, wow. Now with the smaller um, blending brush, I'm going into the shade. Mm. I'm gonna go into two, I'm gonna go into Central Park and Chip. I think Chip is probably my favorite shade in this palette. Whoopsie. And then I'm gonna focus that on my crease just to darken it some more. Okay, now with the smallest blending brush, I'm going to go into the black shade in this palette, and that's Abyss Abyss. I'm not really sure how to stay, stay, well, say it still. Um, but I'm just going to try and darken the outer corner of the my eye. Not too drastic. I'm trying to like create a V and elongate this a bit more, but I'll clean it up with concealer and that will help. Okay, now taking a flat concealer brush. Well, it's actually not a concealer brush. It's just like a sh flat, flat, wow, flat compact brush. I'm going to take some more of the ColourPop um, concealer and I'm going to cut my crease, but not as drastic as like a usual cut crease I'm just gonna follow the shape of actually no we're gonna we're gonna make it a bit big so the trick that um I mentioned in one of my last videos actually this is not blended properly one second so a trick to cutting your crease is um placing like the concealer on your like right above your eyelashes and then looking up and then it kind of makes that mark for you. So that's as high as you want to go so that the eyeshadow doesn't transfer. I'm kind of just gonna stamp the concealer and make a line connecting to this. And then I'm gonna stop about like three quarters into my eye, just cause I'm gonna blend this out with the eyeshadow brush. But I'm gonna do the same to this eye, just cut this crease and yeah. Now with the second to last um, blending brush that we use, actually just the second one, with nothing on it, I'm just going to go in and blend out these edges where the concealer and the eyeshadow meets. Now this is the fun part with um, this angled brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to go into my Colored Rain 
um, pigment, Vivid Pigment and Shadows palette and I'm going to go and take the shade Lemon Drop and I'm basically going to follow this outer like rim or this outer perimeter of the cut crease with this eyeshadow and I'm just gonna stamp it on um brief intermission I need to figure out how to make this more um pigmented because this is not it okay I figured it out Basically, I'm going to go into back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and the two shades that I'm going to take are Silk Cream and MFEO, whatever that stands for. Um, I'm going to take these two shades and then place them where I put the concealer. So it's almost going to look like nothing new is happening, but it's just, this is like the base color that I'm going to be using. And I'm just using like a big a flat brush. With that um, same fluffy brush that we use, I'm just going to clean up the edges again. And then now with that angled brush, I'm going to go back into Lemon Drop in the Colored Rain palette. And I'm just going to stamp it. Oh, you can't even see. I'm just going to stamp it. At first, it doesn't look like much pigment. Well, this eye it didn't look like much pigment was coming. But you just have to keep working the product into um, into your eye lid. I don't know what I'm saying, but you get it. And it's okay if it gets messy because you can always go back in and clean it. But the key to this part is just keep stamping. Okay, I'm going to go in one more time over each eye. And then I'll be back to clean it. Okay, now that the yellow is like all cleaned up, I'm going back into those two cream shades in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then I'm going to reset that concealer. And now with the small paper brush, I'm going into the color chip and I'm just going to blend these edges out. I feel like that's as good as it is going to get, so I'm just going to leave it at this and I'm actually just going to line the top of my I, sorry, I like lost my train of thought. I'm going to just line um, my upper lash line with some liquid liner, but I'm not gonna like wing it out. I'm just basically gonna end it right here. Okay, now I am moving on to foundation. I have not worn this one in a while, so I'm going to be wearing my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Truffle. This is, like, I can't get over how much of a good match this is for me. And I'm just going to blend, I was gonna say blend it out, well, blend it out with the e.l.f. Ultimate, um, what is this? Oh no, this is, a, this is not e.l.f. This is Real Techniques, the Expert Face Brush. And then for concealer, I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande. Okay, and then I'm actually quite excited about the sponge that I'm using because I'm using the, oh, there's powder on it. <laughs> the, um, well, they're not new, but they're new to me, the Juni and Co sponges and they're velvet and it's very, very interesting and weird at the same time. 
but I kind of like how it blends out, but then, I don't know, it's just so bizarre to me. I'm still trying to figure out if I like these sponges or not. They're just so strange. Okay, and then as usual with my Fenty Beauty setting powder in the shade Cashew, I'm going to set my face. Well, like bake for like literally five, five seconds, two minutes, same thing. I make such a mess with this. But this powder, I don't know what they put in it. It just lasts centuries. I'm not complaining, but it's just crazy. I'm, ooh, I'm gonna go into my Fenty Sun Storker Bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy. Okay, good. And I'm just gonna bronze my face. Bronze slash contour. With this giant fluffy brush. Okay, and then we're gonna do highlight. Actually, we're gonna set the face first. With the Mario Badescu skincare. I'm actually gonna skip the blush today and I'm gonna go straight into highlight. And for highlight, I'm going to take my ColourPop X Makeup Shayla, but in the shade Booming this time because it's a lot more um, yellow and golden, whereas the other one's a lot more bronze. So I'm just going to take that highlights, if I can find my highlight brush. I literally just spent two minutes putting highlight on. With a smudger brush, I'm going to go into the shade Chip in the Jaclyn Hill palette and kind of like smudge that along my lower lash line. Okay, with the detail brush, I'm going to go um, back into the highlight, the Makeup Shayla X Colourpop one, and I'm just gonna highlight my inner tear duct. And now I'm just gonna put some lashes on and I will be right back for my outro. Okay, so this is the finished look with my eyelashes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to make it as straight to the point and as simple as possible. Cause it's honestly not that hard. It's just being patient with eyeshadow, but yeah, that honestly just takes time with all makeup. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.